Hello everyone. Uh, so in today's session, we will discuss about how to draw the graph in GeoGebra using the SS Prep platform. So I have seen many of my students struggling in plotting the graph using the GeoGebra. So I have made a sample questions. So we will plot the graph. So the question says a student investigate to find the effect of uh, increasing mass on the force required to move it. So there is an observation table. You can see here the two masses, uh, sorry, two columns. One is having masses on the left hand side and the forces on the right hand side. So the very first question says a plot a graph for the above data table where you have to put the mass on the x axis and the forces on the y axis. So before I switch on and start plotting, you just remember that the mentions values you should either note it down in your rough notebook or in a, on a piece of paper because once you open this uh, GeoGebra, you won't be able to get back to this. Otherwise, it will pop out a questions that you have logged out from the SS prep. So to avoid that, just note down all the readings for the mass as well as on the force and make sure that mass has to be on the X axis and uh, force should has to be on Y axis. Okay. So I know what are the data. So 5, 10, 15, 25, and 30. So 50, 100, 150, 200, 250, and 300. So let us click on this. So this screen will appear in front of you. So the first and the foremost point you have to do is click on the top right corner tools and then click on these three dots. Click on the spreadsheet. So just you select any. The first column has to be of the x axis. So we started with. 5 kg, then 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30, like this. So, for example, you didn't remember and you just click on save. So, you can go back 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 50, 100, 150, 200, and 250, and 300. So, like you again get back to this, it will appear. But I am just going to a preview section. I have not published the test. So that pop-up option has not been appeared. So here you have to write it like uh, started with 50, then 100, then 150, 200, and 250, and then 300. So make sure that you do not write the units while entering the data. So once you enter the data, select all this first row and the second row. Go to one comma two option, then click on polyline. Okay, and then this appear, and then just click OK. So once you click OK, the spreadsheet we have, don't have to do anything. So just we cannot see as of now. So you just do one thing: right click on this, click on zoom to fit. So you can see here the graph has been plotted out. You can scroll it according to this, just using your cursor. So this is the, we have joined the line as well. Okay, so now we have to label the axis and labeling the axis is a very important. So for the label of the axis, what you have to do is click on the setting option. Once you click on the setting option, this will appear in front of you. Can you see here? This now just scroll it, slide it down. So you can see basics, X axis, Y axis and grid. So you have to click on X axis then there's a label now we know that on the label when you just click on it enter mass and in bracket write down the kg if you want units to be mentioned you can mention kg units similarly on the y-axis you can see once you entered so 5 kg 10 kg kg is also mentioned in the x-axis and the label we have done for the x-axis similarly for y-axis that is force and in bracket Newton. Okay. Similarly, you can write capital N that is representing the Newton. So once you do it, just click on it close. You can either just save it or you can close it all these. So this will be your graph force on the y axis mass on the x axis. So this will be your plotting and just click on the save option. So this will be your save in your SS prep. So this